Hey, good morning team. Good afternoon. Good morning, wherever you are. Just doing another uh, quick video here. So I'm already getting a few people saying that they're enjoying them. Um, I'm a pretty to the point person. Um, I like to talk about things and I like it to break down things simply as much as I can because it's just frustrating when you're trying to learn all this technology with, you know, things transforming all the time. You know, one thing you're talking about Linux, next you're talking about Docker, then you're talking about Anzabelle, and then you're talking about big data analytics. But anyways, the point of this video is where we're going to talk about is the encrypted R clone. So the thing is, I haven't, I haven't set this up in a long time. My uh, battle buddy, uh, she set it all up. Um, you recognize her. Uh, DQ, I never actually did catch her name. So, <laughs> but it's like D-E-T-I-Q-U-E. -E. That's her nickname. But uh, she's one of the co-founders who uh, helped me with this project. At many times, I felt like giving up in the past. Uh, she's the one who's kept pushing forward. So anyways, we're going to go through this guide. Uh, blindly so I should have as much trouble as you do um, I did set up once in the past and it did work out pretty well so we'll see how it works out so um, when you want to set up uh, the R clone encrypted you can find it under the Plex Guide wiki or you'll find it in the step-by-step -step order on the github page uh, just quick favor just make sure you uh, give a thumbs up or subscribe you know if you enjoy this video you know most people say it but honestly I'm saying it because it really does uh, actually help us okay so we're going to click this right here um, and we're going to follow through these instructions. So honestly, these are the same instructions actually in the unencrypted. So the a little bit of irony is that if you for some reason set up one, two and three and you decide to go back to unencrypted, you really don't have to do unencrypted again because technically this is set up. Uh, me and her probably spent like a good two weeks trying to run all the services back and forth. So right now is running the unencrypted version. So if I do serve service, uh, sorry, it's been a minute. S system CTL um, status move. This is the move service that moves stuff to your Google Drive. This is the unencrypted version. What you probably don't know is that there's an encrypted version of it. So you're gonna be like, hey, why is my stuff not moving? Well, you see right here, I'm running the unencrypted. So you notice that it says dead. So basically there's encrypted services and then there's unencrypted services. Probably a good idea probably for us to list this down somewhere in the future so you're not going crazy looking for everything. But if you do need help to check on your services, she did work really hard for you by viewing service status. So you can see the unencrypted, the unencrypted, you know, the encrypted move, everything. So you here, this should come up with what I typed earlier, see? So right now nothing's transferring because there's nothing there. Um, for all you encrypted buffs, this is where you would check your stuff here. So obviously I don't have it up, so that there's the reason for it. And again, we program this where if you decide to switch back and forth between either one or or, uh, you'll be able to do it uh, seamlessly. But if you're going from unencrypted to encrypted, you're going to need to follow these two extra steps. So prior, I hope you got your Google authentication information. Don't worry, this is going to be deleted after this video anyway, so uh, good luck if you want to access it this way. Um, so make sure you have your client ID and client secret well beforehand. Um, again, you don't want to be getting in the middle of this. So let's go ahead and kick off uh, Plex Guide. And so when you're using our clone through Plex Guides, it's really the same program that you're loading up. It's nothing special that we're doing. Um, what you do have to be careful that I always warn people about is, is that you need to make sure to um, you need to make sure to uh, be careful when, when you're using a Windows computer because you can't copy and paste in here. It will duplicate. There are special keys you got to press like uh, control. Oh, I don't know, but you got to look it up on the Internet. So if you're copying in a terminal, you're going to have a lot of issues. Uh, OK, so we're going to go with the encrypted R clone install. So right now I currently have one. So for the sake of this video, we're just going to go ahead and delete the, the existing one. So it's really easy to to delete these things. Um, I might have to do a reboot afterwards. Um, but anyways, so I'm going to press new and you see right here, let's go to the encrypted instructions. You will see right here that we have to do new remote and that we have to type G drive for the name. You must type G drive for the name. Please do not type Google. Do not type anything else. The reason for it is, is because this name is very specific to certain things you're running. So if you type anything else other than this, 
it's just going to be a bad day for you. Your services aren't going to work and you, you know, I think you kind of get it. So G drive. So it says, make sure to look out for number 10 that we see right here. Um, just, just understand that the numbers can change sometimes because they do update. So this is as of version 1.39. Um, do not pick Google Cloud Storage. So, you know, don't, you know, see, you know, the first Google you see, just pick it. Make sure it says specifically Google Drive. So we're going to do 10. And then we're going to go ahead and do the client ID. So this is what I got earlier. So there's the client ID. And the great thing about it, if you have a Mac or if you're using Linux currently is that it, it works. But in Windows, if you try that copy and paste, it's, again, you're going to have problems. Okay. Uh, then the client secret. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that in there. So paste and go from there. And then anytime this is new 1.39, just hit enter. You can ignore that. Use auto config. Since this is a distant server, I am not on my machine machine. I have to pick N. If you do Y and you are not on your machine, you're going to kind of have to restart this process again. Um, so if you're unsure what to do, and that's why they say this, if you're unsure, uh, well, it says yes to do if you're not sure, but usually just do no. Um, so then what you have to do is you have to take this right here. You got to verify your information. So copy, and then I'm going to pop it up in here. And basically it's just authorizing the program to access your Google drive. So allow. Okay. And then we have to take this and copy and paste there again for you windows users. <laughs> Good luck. I use windows too, but, uh, I try to avoid setting it up through Windows. Okay, and configure as a team drive. No, you will never ever configure it as a team drive. Um, yes. And the reason for it is because the program Plex drive is not configured to work with um, team drive. So it will mess up your union FS configuration. Okay, so now you see that we did part one. So that's cool. So it says this is an encrypted mount. So it looks like we need to do another thing. So we're going to do an encrypted mount now. So the first one we did is unencrypted. Um, and again, she spent a lot of time making sure that's correct. So right here it says gcrypt. You need to make sure it says gcrypt. Follow it exactly. If you type anything other than gcrypt, it'll be a bad day. Okay. So it says we need to pick number seven. So if you read here, it says encrypt, decrypt, a... Uh, it says we want to encrypt and decrypt a remote. So... Pick number seven, make sure in the future that it, it's this option because again, the numbers can change as I mentioned earlier. Seven. And then you have to type something very specific for our number. So let's see here. It says you have to type uh, G drive slash encrypt. So you have to type this exactly. G drive colon encrypt. So type it exactly like that. And then two for standard encryption. So it looks like two. She mentioned here and directory name encryption. Hmm. Okay. Double check G drive. Type in your own password. Huh? Oh, you know what? This throws me off every single time um, that I see this. So to encrypt standard. Standard. Don't encrypt directory names, leave them intact. Again, I think this is a new option. So I don't know. We'll just we'll do it anyways. Encryption's good. Okay, so this was where it kind of gets to encrypt password. So you're gonna do your own password. And then you're gonna go ahead and type it. And then you're gonna go ahead and type it again. And then this is going to salt your password for people who don't know what salting it is. It's kind of like a, a variable or a, a second hand version of, of something. So if your password was cat and you salted it, it may be your password in the future may not be, I don't know, C-A-P because you varied it. Um, you're going to type your own password in. And again, do not forget either one of these. We have one of our members having a heart attack. They can be the same, but if they are the same, it kind of defeats the purpose of the extra protection. So... As we see here, it looks like we got this to match up, remote, file name, directory. So it looks like this is new. So this is something we'll probably have to add. Uh, let me see. 
we'll go ahead and save this so we can go ahead and update this guide. And like, and like I said, stuff changes. So, alrighty. So we're gonna say yes, this is okay. So we got one more part to do. And again, you gotta take your time on this thing. I try not to, to rush it. Because like I said, one mistake will have you going off the wall. Okay, so we're gonna do a new remote. That's part three. And it says, this is an encrypted mount for Union FS encrypt service to avoid bans to place drives. So basically, Union FS is your, I call it a shadow drive, trick drive, illusion drive, whatever you want to call it. It's a combination of your Plex drive and your local drive that, I don't know, it tricks your system into thinking it's it's your, it's it's Plex drive sitting on top of your local system. But uh, anyways, that's that would be for a different video if you want to understand Union FS. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do new... And then we're going to type crypt for the name. Remember, it's crypt, not gcrypt. So then we're going to do option number seven. You're basically looking for this option. So again, make sure you're, it's the right thing. Because uh, as you witnessed earlier, something changed. And it kind of threw me off here. Okay, so I did that. So it looks like I need to type this exact phrase. Mount Plex Drive 4 and crypt. Okay. Um, don't encrypt file names. Encrypt. So let's see here. Encrypt standard. Okay, that's what she had. Okay, there's that directory thing again. So I'm going to do one. And then type in my own password. Yep. And then same thing. You don't want to forget this. If you're secure, if you're paranoid. All your passwords should be different, but uh, again, you wanna you wanna keep them the same. So, uh, just a note here: she said use the same password as above. So it looks like they both need to match it from above. Okay, so I did that. So that's good. So yes to this salt. So make sure it matches the salt from above. Okay, so it looks like she's got some extra tips here for you to read. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit. Q and quit or yes and quit and she put some kind of check things in there to make sure everything's working which is good okay so that's uh, our encrypted using our older installer uh, again in, in the end it does the same thing um, and the bell's a little tricky at times so Let's see if this works. I may have to reboot it though, because um, I disconnected the drive and, and set up another one. So, or was it an info and troubleshoot? Troubleshooting? No. View server status. So let's see if this comes up. Well, we didn't set up Plex drive yet, but I should see. Yeah, I should see certain things. Encrypted move. Okay, it looks like the encrypted move is working, so that's good. So, let's see here. See, I'm trying to think. CD, move directory. So, Pseudo, I don't know why I'm doing sudo and root, it's just out of habit. Pseudo touch cat 5txt, and then we're going to do sudo system again. You can see, I can't break it. Pseudo system ctl restart move en. Okay, so what I did was I started the, the, the move service. Remember, we're doing the encrypted version. So I can type system ctl status move en. Okay, so you can see it started, which is good. It takes about 30 seconds. So if this works, we should see some encrypted garbage on the other side. And if I had Plex Drive up right now, I'd be able to confirm the... Okay, so I think it moved, I think. 
Okay, so it says we transferred cat. So again, the whole purpose of video is to show you that this thing works, you know. Um, and I just did it off the whim, not scripted or anything like that, because um, usually that's how you have issues is when you're just kind of trying to figure it out. So we should see encrypted garbage there. Yeah, see, there's that encrypt that we were looking at. And let's see here. Yeah, see, there's the file. So we know that it works. And I believe union FS won't work because I don't have Plex drive working right now. So CD mount union FS directed. Nah, so, but you notice that the file is gone. So um, if this whole process didn't work, I still would have that cat file sitting there. Um, in theory, if everything was working correctly, you would, you would see it, but it, it gives me some confidence that it works. Um, if you switch over to the union FS video, you'll be able to see uh, that everything's working. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hook up Plex drive, something I should have just went ahead done first, but I, I think you get the idea. Um, so just remember to use the troubleshoot menu if you wanna verify your services. Um, don't forget your passwords and uh, I'm trying to think what else. Don't forget your password. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you got any comments, questions, uh, just let us know. In the future, as uh, everything's more stable, satellites, I'll do a more formal kind of like sit down and, and try to have everything done for you. Appreciate your time. Just again, make sure to hit like and uh, what else? Yeah, subscribe to that. Sorry, it's still a little bit rainy. It's uh, Sunday in the afternoon. Later.